Justin Marshall as we talk super rugby, and that's going to happen in about 12 minutes from now. But let's be positive. Let's go to Twizel and be positive. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. Stop no there. negativity. No. Let's be positive. LBP. LBP. Let's be positive. LBP with TMG. That's Twizel's mad gun. Roberto Firmino. It's in. It's seven. I'm finding it hard to be positive about that result, Matt. You can help me. Uh, well, I couldn't hear that audio. That was the breakers, wasn't it? <laughs> Shut up, mate. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Martin. Oh, no, sorry. You, that, that was the result that you only lost by a converted try. That was it. I tell you what, we were seven without yeah. loss on a very tricky pitch in India, mate. I thought it was a good start. <laughs> oh, yeah, a good start and a great finish. Seven goals. Oh, look, I don't know how you've been at work today, Martin, but what I've heard over the last hour or so has been... Well, you've been so controlled. Your rage, your anger, it must be building yes. inside. I mean, yes. How do you feel about it, Martin? 5.20 are up this morning. Yes. And then what? By, 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 by 7.30, you, 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 you don't even want to go to work. I'm amazed you even made it to work this morning. <laughs> Look, it hasn't been the greatest Liverpool season, but I'll tell you what, that tops the last two. 7 mil. I was watching a lot of Sky over the weekend. Same. And one of the promos that I kept watching, the great greatest rivalry in football. Not anymore. The greatest rivalry in worldwide football. Not anymore. That wasn't... There was no rivalry no, there. No. It was one way. Oh, shut one, up, mate. It was one way. Stop going on about it. Nobody gives us... Sorry, did I... Sorry, did I reveal my true self there, did I? Yeah, okay. I mean, look, i got nothing, mate. What have I got? What have I got? i got no pants on, mate. Take advantage. I was just trying, I was just trying to get a little rise out of you, and I knew it had come at some point. <laughs> Look, you've got to be disappointed. That's all I've got to say. I'm disappointed. I mean, I'm not I'm disappointed. Not... I'm furious, mate. They're not going to be disappointed. Disappointed yeah, means that you had a chance. That you were there. Somehow you were robbed. <laughs> You know, you know. sometimes like Manly over the weekend, you get on a roll and things go your way. The better team doesn't always win, Martin. Good point. But I can tell you what, this morning they did. Yeah. They did yeah. by a mile. Well, see, that's I, a goal for every the day. I mean, look, I, I had this slot, This I had this I had this all worked out. I was going to sort of throw a couple of topics around and I was going to play a sniggering little laugh in the background because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> I was going to go, oh, <laughs> what about your doggies, Matt? I was going, oh, okay, so. <laughs> Sorry, you were making top eight. I, I, I had this all prepared. And then, of course, and the worst thing about it is, is I abandoned the game and I went back to bed. But you're so angry and so wild and you've kind of got a bit of a perspiration thing going on and you're, you're not going back to sleep, are you? You're sitting there, you're cursing the traffic, you're ter- cursing the sunshine, you're cursing the fact that, why isn't the towel rail on? Why does the junk take so long to boil? You know what I mean? Everything. Oh, no, you can't get over it, Martin, and I sympathise with you. A hundred percent. No, you don't. No, no about ten percent. I sympathise with you about ten percent. I added an extra zero. Yeah. Look, a magnificent result yeah. and one that we can all celebrate. Okay. Well, most of us anyway. All right, well, let's turn our attention to <laughs> Warriors and Doggies because I'll take that Friday night win just as you would have taken a miserable one point against the run of play win. What went wrong against Manly? Because you're a top eight side, remember? What went wrong, Martin? Everything went wrong. We didn't look too bad in the first half, but it always felt like Manly were a, they were just a hair away from taking off. Uh, i tell you what went wrong. Too many drop balls. Uh, first half, I think we put three in, uh, well, we put three into touch on the full. Um, we made silly errors. Uh, we couldn't hold on to the ball. And then even finishing the first half, one of the greatest players at last year's Rugby League World Cup, Josh Adokar, the Fox, I mean, what a brain explosion. Nearly gave them an 18-6 lead at half time. We were just bad. And, you know, Look, I, I, I know that you and I could not publish the text messages no. that were being sent back and forward between us. And, and I started well. I started positive. You did. And then it just was all downhill. Everything we touched well, it certainly didn't turn to gold. It was just, it was a, 
It was back to the future, wasn't it? It was back to the last five years. Yeah. It felt to me like nothing changed. Nothing's changed, nothing mate. Changed. Nothing has changed. That's it. You're still rubbish, mate. I mean, all this talk of the top eight, I mean, here am I. I mean, as soon as I start climbing on my high horse, I know you're just going to sit there and say seven and I'll shut up, but I'll start. You're average, mate. You're disappointing is what you are. You build it up, you talk it up, everything about a good game. When it comes to fronting up, you don't do that. That's the dogs, mate. Yeah, well, everyone's talked us up, Martin. We were one of the two teams to watch after the off-season. And to yeah. be honest, I thought we made... Well, I thought we made decent running up the middle, but Manly's defence was too tough for us. We didn't make it through. We made all right metres in the first half, but the second half, yeah, just every other Bulldogs fan, we were all just texting each other yeah. saying, More we still same. blame Raylene Carr. Yeah, it's still blame they do. We haven't been good since no. We haven't been good. And, and the way we looked on the weekend, honestly, I mean, I almost would have... Rather watch Otago. Well, no, well, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on, yeah, hang on a second. Yeah, so, look, I've just suggested, mate, that the Highlanders oh, yeah. give everyone a bonus point before kickoff. I mean, there's a great story. One, one of the websites, I'll just have a look at it. I think it's News Hub are running it at the moment. Highlanders hope Smith's return, this is Aaron Smith, can snap shocking super rugby start. Um, I'm not so sure that a returning halfback has ever changed anything about any rugby team to a great extent. You know, you are one of the cellar dwellers. That's why I think the Blues losing to the Brumbies has been the best thing for this competition because if that hadn't happened, Matt, you might as well just cut from round two, go straight to the semifinals, mate. We already know who the four best teams are. Well, yeah, the first thing is, is the Highlanders can't be saved by a, high, uh, by a halfback. We put, we've, we put enough gaps on the field for 60 points, to be honest, and I don't think Aaron Smith, in his wildest dreams, could have ever stopped any of those. So, anyway, but secondly, the Blues came. I mean, you wouldn't celebrate it as the greatest piece of rugby ever, though, would you? And uh, the winner of a game like that, I don't know if it brightens up the season or not, but at least there was a highlight for me because, well, I like seeing the Blues getting beaten, but, I mean, does it mean much? You saw the second half, not a point scored. No. It was scrappy. It was ugly. I mean, it, was, it, it wasn't... For all the promos, once again, you've got to go back to the greatest rivalry in football. <laughs> it just didn't deliver. Didn't deliver. No. Did it? it didn't Let's deliver. be positive about the breakers, mate. Split at ones. You happy with that? A three-game series now? Well, I think they gave up a massive opportunity. I said to you last week or the week before, they sneak one away and they could probably take this in four. But obviously, a great win away on the road uh, on Friday, 95-87. Everything went their, everything went their way. They hit a, a huge amount of three-point shots in the first. They defended well. Sydney were at odds. Sydney came back at them, but the breakers always had their measure. And it was just a dead-set reversal the other night. I would say, though, statistically, looking back at the game, and I have to say, I walked away from the game at the start of the fourth quarter. I thought, there's no way. No, they're I not can't coming watch back. The no, rest it was garbage this. time. It really was. I put, it on in the back. I put it on in the background. I knew they couldn't win that. But the point being is 37 from 71, 45% from the field, they shot more than Sydney. 11 from 29 from three-point range. They had 11 in the first quarter or the first half on Friday night. I don't think they're out of it, the breakers. The real difference for me was um, after the breakers came back in the second quarter, they went into halftime, they come out, you're, you're expecting big things. I say, we've got this. I think they've got this. They're right in it. And Justin Simon, who had spent most of the first half on the bench, came out, two turnovers, play after play, uh, and nailed a couple of shots he probably should never have been able to nail. The intensity he brought lifted Sydney, and Justin Simon with 12 points and nine rebounds, he was the difference for me the other night. So I think if you're, if you're speaking with Modi on the program this week, he'll say, we just didn't shoot properly. We didn't shoot well enough. Maybe Tom Abercrombie, who was 100% shooting, just wasn't involved enough. Um, yeah, look, um, more three-point shots, more rebounds. Uh, six more rebounds than the Kings. They didn't take advantage of the turnovers, and they just that they just couldn't. They just didn't have the rhythm. 
They had some reasonably good open three-point shots from the corner, but they didn't work their screen game at the top of the key enough. And for some reason, their confidence was down. And, you know, Sydney were just too good in the end. And I mentioned, and I heard you mention this, that no team in this uh, final series has won at home this year. And um, we can only hope that that continues to be the case yeah. because that'll mean uh, Friday again, the yeah. Breakers will have a chance in Sydney and then potentially come home and wrap it up uh, at Game 4. Look, I, I, they're not out of it. They're not out of it, but they were very disappointing and they will be disappointed with the way they shot. Because, Finally, let's uh, talk disappointment then. Let's, let's, let's stay on the disappointment theme, which we kicked off with. Adi Savia then. What do you make yeah. of this? And does he deserve anything extra in terms of the judiciary? Or are you happy with the post-match apology? Well, I thought it sounded uh, pretty genuine, same. the apology. Yeah. Um, remembering one of the Harkers has that same... Well, they've, they've, yeah, but idiot. they've actually... But, well, they've, they've, they've removed it from it because, you know... I know that there are those that interpret that to be something other than a throat slit, but for the majority of the 7 billion people on this planet, we look at that as a, I'm going to cut your throat. That's what that gesture says. Exactly what it is. Oh, I don't suppose it's that savoury. Um, should the apology play a role at the, the judiciary? Absolutely not. I mean, he'd apologise before or after it anyway. Um uh, he mentioned in the apology the, the heat of the moment, you know, the intensity of the game and all the rest of it. But I think we know, and I think he knows, and given by his apology, he certainly realises it. It's not a great look. It's not a great look. It's a game that they want families to go to. I don't think we want our young boys and girls who are taking part in the game to mimic those kind of gestures. No. And I know people will say they're not role models and they're not the rest of it. Actually... Adi Savia is a role model to many young football players in this country, rugby players. And uh, I, I think that you do have to consider yourself in that light. So, no, a terrible look, but I don't think it'll change the way we view the guy going no, forward. I don't think I it should he's, either. No. He's probably, no, I don't think it should, but I certainly don't think an apology... Um, and I don't know what the, the rule on that is. I mean, what, it's, it's, not a it's, a, no, it's, it's, it's this what, weird, what, unsportsmanlike what, conduct law, or, or which I don't know. I mean, that just seems so subjective, doesn't it? Like, I think there was unsportsmanlike. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be the fascination with the with the judiciary as to exactly what happens. Matt, I appreciate that. Let's be positive. From TMG, Twizel's Matt Gunn.